Hello everyone, what's going on? I'm Gaff, the Master 974, back again today and welcome to another Valve Source Code tutorial. Today I'm going to look at how you can add achievements into your Source 2013 mods. Now I do need to give a big ups and thank you to Simply Lambda for the suggestion. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So essentially adding achievements into a Source mod, it really does depend on what it is that you want people to try and achieve. So for example, there are relatively simple situations like triggering achievements when hitting story related events or killing a certain number of enemies. But then you can have very complicated examples like finding all of the Lambda caches in Half-Life 2 or beating the Raven Home chapter by using the gravity gun only. So I think what I'm going to be doing with this video is just to outline a couple of relatively simple achievements that you can add into a source mod. However, you can always consult Achievements HL2, Achievements EP1, Achievements EP2 or Achievements EPX.CPP to see how the episodic or Half-Life 2 achievements are sort of incorporated into the game. So the first thing that I'm going to recommend that you do is to go to your source code directory and open up the game's solution file and you want to go to the server and right click and create a new file and you want to call it something like achievements underscore mod dot cpp and you also want to make sure that it gets saved to your src game shared directory and this file is going to be needed on the client as well. So that's why it's going in the shared directory. And then you want to remove the achievements HL2 or the achievements EP1, EP2 and EPX.CPP files from the server and the client because we don't want any sort of conflict with any achievement managers that are defined by the achievements that already exist within Half-Life 2 or the episodes. And then you want to go to your achievements mod.cpp file and you want to add hashtag include and then cbase.h then hashtag if game underscore dll then hashtag include achievement mgr.h hashtag include base achievement.h then create a c achievement mgr called g underscore achievement mgr mod which is the global achievement manager for your mod and then hashtag endif, which ends the hashtag if game DLL line essentially. So above the hashtag endif line, you can add achievements. And for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to be adding three achievements and they're going to be relatively simple examples. So the first thing you're going to need are some achievement IDs and names that these achievements are going to be using essentially. So what we can do is do hashtag define of achievement mod hit trigger give it a value of one then hashtag define achievement mod got secret weapon give it a value of two and hashtag define achievement mod got cop kills and give it a value of three so basically these achievements are going to be for hitting a certain trigger volume in a map finding a secret weapon in a map and generally getting five Metro Cop kills. That's essentially what I'm going to be doing for this video. So for the first achievement, which will be activated when a certain trigger volume is hit, you can simply add the achievement by doing something like declare map event achievement of achievement mod hit trigger, then inside of speech marks mod hit trigger, which is essentially everything after the achievement underscore. And then you need to give it a point value, which is kind of like Xbox Gamer Score, but that doesn't really matter for PC achievements. So you can give it a stock value of something like five. Uh, this will add the achievement to your mod, but you need to add a way to actually trigger the achievement to get it. And that's going to be something I'll get to in a little bit. And for the second achievement about finding a hidden weapon, we can actually add hidden achievements by doing something like declare map event achievement hidden of achievement mod got secret weapon then inside of speech marks mod got secret weapon because it's everything after achievement underscore and then you can give it a stock score value of five 
And if you check, this will add a hidden achievement. It won't show up in the achievements list, but it will be in the game somewhere. It just won't show up until you actually trigger the achievements to unlock it. A bit cheeky, if you ask me. And again, there needs to be a way to actually trigger this achievement. And so I'll get to that in a little bit. But I'm going to go on to the last achievement, which you can define as something like this. So you want to create a class and call it something like C achievement mod cop kills and then colon public C base achievements. Then you want to add a void function called init and inside of this function you want to set flags of ACH listen player kill enemy events and a vertical line ACH save with game. So essentially listen for player killing certain enemies and also save progress. Then set victim filter of in speech marks NPC underscore Metro Police because it's related to cop kills and the cops are the NPC Metro Police entities. And then set a goal of five. So you can see that in the video. And then to add the achievements you want to do after the class definition declare achievement of the class which is c achievement mod cop kills then the id achievement mod got cop kills then in speech marks mod got cop kills because it's everything after achievement underscore and then you can give it a point score value of something like five again so going back to the first two achievements where i said you actually need to add a way to trigger the achievements this is where you would actually need to go to the hammer editor and add in a logic achievement entity and you can pretty much place it wherever you want and call it whatever you want for example trigger achievements for the trigger achievements achievements if that makes sense and the achievement event inside of this entity needs to start with achievement underscore event underscore and then you put in whatever was in speech marks for the achievements that you added so for example inside of speech marks for the trigger achievement it was just mod hit trigger so in the logic achievements in the achievement event section we would add achievement underscore event underscore mod underscore hit underscore trigger for example i think you could also get away with using the id for the achievement so in this case it would just be a number of one but you can always use achievements underscore event underscore and then whatever is in speech marks after that. So then after this you need to simply trigger the fire event input of the logic achievements for the achievement to unlock. So for example I've created a trigger once volume and in the output you want to add on trigger trigger achievements which is the logic achievement entity name and then fire event. And then you can do something similar for picking up a secret weapon. You just replace something like on trigger with on player pickup and the trigger achievements with something like weapon achievements, whatever the situation is, whatever the name of the logic achievement entity actually is pertaining to the achievements that you want to unlock. And so that is pretty much how you would make the certain level specific achievements trigger. So you might realize at this point that even though you've added achievements to your mod, they don't actually show up in the achievements menu. So what you can do to add the achievements is to go to your mods resource folder. So this would be the game mod HL2 resource folder and there's already going to be a mod underscore English dot text file here. So you can just open up that, go to the very bottom and then you want to add the achievements which in this case we could add something like mod hit trigger underscore name and then inside of speech marks after that define a name for the achievement and achievement name underscore desk for example mod hit trigger underscore desk and give a description so you can see what i've added in the video here and you can even give them unlocked icons and for this you need to go to your mods materials vgui achievements folder and create these directories if they don't already exist and you need to add achievements.vtf and achievements.vmt 
where achievement is the name of the achievement. So for example, mod hit trigger, mod got secret weapon, mod got cop kills, something like that. And the VTF file needs to have the flags sRGB, no MIP map and no level of detail if you open up the VTF texture in something like VTF edit. And they also need to be 64 by 64 in size because, well, that's the size that the Half-Life 2 icons use. And inside of the .vmt file, you want to do inside of speech marks, unlit generic, and then inside of curly brackets, inside of speech marks, dollar sign base texture, and then inside of another set of speech marks, VGUI backslash achievements forward slash the name of the uh, .vtf file, so mod got cop kills, for example. So by doing that, you can save, compile, go into your mod, and if you go to the achievements menu, you should see that the achievements are there, except for the hidden achievements until you unlock it. And if you go into a map where the achievements can be unlocked, then once you unlock the achievements, it should show up in the achievements menu and the hidden achievement should show up and they'll have custom name, custom description and custom icons. Uh, but one thing that I haven't been able to figure out is how to get notifications to work. Now, I know Steam notifications aren't going to work because your mod's not going to have that sort of Steam integration. But what I mean by this is there's a thing you can do in at least a debug build, which inside of the developer console, you can do achievement notification tests. And essentially it causes a sort of window to pop up on the right hand side of the screen, which should in theory be a notification for when you get certain achievements or certain achievement progress. Now, I couldn't figure out a way to get any achievement notifications to work via this method. And there's another issue, you know, I just said that there's an issue I'll get to, which is that if you launch the mod through Steam, like you would to actually play the mod, uh, the achievements just don't seem to appear at all, even though they did appear when launching through Visual Studio. So I'm not sure why that happens unless it's some sort of Steam interface thing, because it fails when you launch through Visual Studio and maybe that causes the descriptions and the icons to load but when it actually goes through steam then it doesn't work i don't know what's going on so the two things that are outstanding is how to actually get achievements to show up without releasing your mod on steam basically and also how to get achievement notifications to work so when you actually make progress on certain achievements or actually unlock certain achievements there is a notification that happens to tell people that they got the achievements well everyone, that's everything I have to say for this video. Sorry for the last two points that I couldn't get to work. I don't know what to do about that, but if you have any ideas, let me know in the comment section down below. And hopefully you found the video helpful regardless. And let me know if there's anything else that you want me to potentially look into. I know I've got a pretty hefty backlog of videos to look into and ideas to eventually work on and do videos about so i hope you'll check out some of the other videos that i've got on the channel and any future videos that i release thank you so much for watching as always take care out there peace out see you later and have a great day